are here with What's Hot in Tucson Live and Federico Pazota of MCP to see what you guys have this year. Thank you for having Thank us. You. Thank you very much. Great to Come. see you, Federico. As always, I know I needed to be faster. <laughs> <laughs> so, for starters, I mean, in this case, boom, your eye is just brought to this fantastic Yes, uh, uh, you know that I am a uh, fan for tourmaline. I like tourmalines, and so at the end, uh, I am going to show it tourmaline. I'm sorry for you, but it is <laughs> like it is. So I like the piece because of the geometry, the size. This is coming from a pocket found like one and a half years ago. And what is making, uh, in my opinion, this piece particularly interesting is uh, the geometry and uh, the fact that, uh, as it is uh, quite usual for this locality, you have uh, a nice large antilogous pole crystal with this uh, type of mushroom formation aggregate and uh, smaller analogous pole crystals here perfectly sitting in the center of the matrix uh, and the condition of the piece since the origin was very good there is just one repair clean repair here and a couple of tiny restorations but really tiny and uh, so uh, this is uh, this is obviously a floor uh, elbite mm -hmm. uh, which is typical for the locality and uh, that's it this is a uh, something like amazing uh, things and yes, a particularly yes, great exactly. one well, sticking with the tourmalines, you have these absolutely adorable tiny crystals here. These are just... It's so big. Yeah, indeed, I want to tell something to you about this thumbnail of 42 kilos. <laughs> yeah, it's not a thumbnail, I made a mistake. So, uh, it is still an antilogous pole. This, even if it is flat termination, it is from Madagascar. It was found uh, around three years ago. And this piece is, uh, in my opinion, extremely interesting. It is, a, as I said, a fluorolidicotite. It's particularly interesting for the size, the shape, the form, and uh, the formation of these uh, flowers of uh, polylithionite, which is uh, actually one of the species of uh, uh, Lepidolite, we, we can call uh, also lepidolite as, as a general name, and growing the crystal, actually, one sphere of this lepidolite uh, limited the formation of the structure, and uh, the termination grow, leaving this uh, interesting uh, uh, hole, uh, but the final crystal face uh, was uh, always the same. This is a typical piece with multicolor inside. If we go to slice the piece, we have uh, here the best uh, color and best pattern and uh, going up of the slices and going up, uh, actually, we have a more homogeneous and jammy material. So this mm -hmm. is a a uh, very nice example for this mine, a very large crystal. It is also very difficult to have a crystal of this size in this condition. It is yeah. fairly perfect and uh, lustrous, uh, sharp terminations, uh, lepidolite together. So it's, it's, in a, it's an object I like. For many reasons, geologically, mineralogically, and it's just beautiful. Yeah. And, and you know, it's only issues it doesn't perfectly fit inside the it <laughs> <laughs> was on the size of your purse. Yeah. Okay. okay. And uh, okay, I go then to another talk machine. No. <laughs> no, no, not another talk machine. That's enough. <laughs> <laughs> no such thing. Uh, Calcedony. Oh, Calcedony. This is uh, yeah. Uh, in what we have, uh, even if it is just Calcedony, I believe that uh, these two pieces are among the most rare pieces we have here presented. And I believe that there is nothing else like this presented elsewhere. Uh, because these two pieces are coming from Malawi. It is a so-called blue calcedony, if any, even if it has this uh, unusual color, which is fairly typical for calcedony this locality. Yeah. This locality actually uh, is producing a calcedony for the carving industry since, uh, I believe, 25, 30 years. And uh, the person who selected these two pieces, actually, which is the father of our photographer, Federico Picciani, which is uh, spying us from the back, actually selected these two, these two pieces among... Uh, 
thousand and thousand and thousand of uh, ones and uh, among uh, unbelievable weight of material he yeah. processed over 25 years. And these are uh, really interesting for uh, all their features. They are uh, undamaged and they are partially covered by this tiny calcite which are looking like rice on top of the yeah. crystals. It creates this little aggregates. contrast. And yeah. They must yeah. be difficult to clean to preserve all those little yeah, calcites. Exactly. Too. We had uh, a quite hard time to clean like you see these pieces and leaving the calcite uh, perfect. But, but the, the colors, the, yeah. And the, the color colors, colors, yeah. colors, and they are true. glowing. If you put the light, they are glowing uh, in this uh, unusual uh, specific color. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much for sharing these great specimens with us. And it's always fun to be here. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Always fun. Pleasure to be with you.